So hello everyone, I'm going to show you how I make a cobweb scarf on my blending board. And uh, this is the material I work with. It's tassa silk and uh, merino tops. And now I'm going to give the camera to my son. We'll hold it like this, okay. So I start with the silk. If you have mulberry silk, then you start with that because that's finer than tassa, but I only have the tassa. So, one thing. And I lightly brush the silk as much as I want to on the board. So this will be the outside of my scarf and the inside, it's or the, the outer layer. And I don't need much silk, I just want to highlight it. That's enough. And I will brush it down. And use the color that I want to be most visible, which is the darkest blue on one side. It's kind of marine blue. And I'll just lightly attach it here. And this is going to be a cobweb shawl, so it's okay to have holes in it. If I want to make a dense shawl that has no holes in it, then the red is a good indicator that that's where it's going to be holes. That's one layer. Hold it down. You can keep it here. I know. <laughs> okay. And if you only want one color, of course that's fine. But I like to play with many colors. So I'll take another blue and put it in another direction. I mean, I'm the wagon. Hope my arm isn't in the way. And brush it down. And let me tell you, this sound alone is addictive. And then I take a third color and put it on the, what do you call it in English, diagonal? Yep. Okay. So this will be in the middle. Comb it down. And take another color or the same. It doesn't really matter. And put it in the other diagonal and I'm Swedish so you have to excuse my accent yep and homemade words yep <laughs> if you're going to make something to sit on outside that doesn't have to be close to your skin this would be a good place in the middle to put some some other kind of wool like Corridale or Gotland wool is really good for this. But since this is going to be a shawl, I will only use merino silk, merino and silk. And now we're going to the sort of backwards. Now this is I've done more than half and I'll take the darkest and put it this way and you still can see some of the red so if I wanted to make a not cobweb scarf, then I would have to put more 
more wool to cover all the red. And my second to last layer will be this intense blue. That will be visible on one side. My dad is calling, but he has to wait. Yep. Uh, Five minutes has gone. Yeah. And then I'll end with a little silk. Six minutes. Again. Six. And just lightly brush it. And when, when you're doing this, you sort of make a pre-felt, so this will be much quicker to wet felt than if you had done a layout on a table. Okay, I'm done and I will take it off the blending board with the two sticks. And I just roll it off. There it is. And if I just, oh, do I feel it? It's like, feels like a kitten. Uh, so if I just wanted a more dense shawl, then this would be ready to felt. But now we're going to make a cobweb shawl. So if you follow me with the camera. I'm trying to. <laughs> okay. You don't have to follow me, you can follow the, the wool. Okay. I have made one earlier because I got the question, how do, you, how do you do if you want to make a long scarf? You just do several of these and put them sort of on top of each other. And you can stretch it. Are you filming this? Yeah. And this is why I do several colors. Because when I do this, all the layers will be visible. And you will get the cobweb, cobweb effect from it. But you still have one side that's more intense blue and the other side is more uh, navy blue. And this is good to keep on the edge. But if you want to mix them, like, I usually do five of these panels when I do a cobweb shawl that's almost as long as I am. And I'm quite tall. So this will be like um, one meter and 70 centimeters, 80 centimeters, something like that. And you can do like this. Pull up very careful, a little like this to make to make uh, the edge a bit softer. And then when you put it on top of each other, the edge won't be so visible. And then just stretch this. And put them together like that. And when I'm done with this, these five, I put them on a bubble wrap and cover it with, uh, if you have the mesh, that's fine, I can find it. So I bought uh, tulle and then I just wet felt and roll it. And you don't have to roll very much actually, because you see, it's, it's almost, it's, it's quite durable as it is. So this is how I play with it and you can, you can do so much with it. So put the blending board on your wish list for Christmas and you will you can wet felt 
shawls for all your friends and relatives. It's been like 10 minutes. Okay. Thank you, Tore. Bye.